In this video, let's try to solve this differential equation. It is from the book B. S. Kreval and from the exercise 11.2. So let us begin. To solve this, first let us try to separate the variables of x and y. So to do that, let us take this term to the right hand side of the equation. So doing that, we will get 6 square x tan y dx equal to minus 6 square y tan x dy. Now we see that we can easily separate the x and y terms by taking tan x to left hand side and tan y to the right hand side. So let us do that. We get 6 square x dx upon tan x this will be equal to minus 6 square y tan y dy now to get the solution we will integrate on both sides we will get integration of 6 square x tan x dx equal to 6 square minus integration of 6 square y upon tan y dy. Now to integrate this, let us substitute tan x as t. So, when we differentiate, we know that differentiation of tan x is 6 square x. So, we get 6 square x dx will be equal to dt. Likewise, here also, let us take tan y as u. So, on differentiating on both sides, we will get 6 square y dy will be equal to du. Now let us substitute this in our equation 1. So we will get integration of this 6 square dx we can write as dt. So dt upon tan x is t will be equal to minus integration of 6 square y dy we can write as du. And tan y we will write as u. So let us integrate. We know that integration of integration of 1 by x dx is equal to log of x plus c. So let us use this formula and calculate. So we will get here log of t will be equal to minus log of u plus c. Let us substitute the values and bring log u to the left hand side so that it will become positive. So we can write this as log of t is tan x. So tan x plus log of u is tan y. will be equal to c. Now we know that when there are two terms of log which are in plus they will become they will come in multiplication when we bring the tan together. So this will become tan x into tan y equal to c. Now we can leave the answer here or we can do one more step where we can remove this log and include it with a constant c. So the answer may also be tan x into tan y equal to c. So this is the final answer. I hope you understood this question. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. I will try to clear your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you.